and your father wasn't even a car guy, but in 1960, yeah. he brings home a pre-war standard flying 10, which <laughs> nobody in North America will even know what it is. <laughs> but you said that it, its arrival was a source of fascination for me, and you were already drawing a lot of cars, and you were fascinated by the curves on that standard flying 10, the front wings, right? And yeah, you'd yeah. climb on top and you'd slide down the car. Yeah. And your father, your yeah. father didn't like it. Where are you getting this stuff? <laughs> this is good. This is true. Absolutely true. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But you were fascinated. You were fascinated by car design. You were, you were, you were hooked. I, I was hooked. Well, I started off drawing things around the house when I was very young. This is preschool age. Mm -hmm. I was drawing Hoovers. And I can say Hoovers because it was a Hoover. It wasn't a Dyson or anything. It was really a Hoover. <laughs> it was a Hoover. And, and um, I was drawing this thing. I started when we got a television. I remember the first television arriving. So I started to draw that. I drew the radio and, and I, anything that was sort of mechanical. And of course, uh, then I discovered this Porsche 356 drove past. And I thought, well, that's interesting. It didn't have such a profound effect on me as the E-Type did because it just went past quickly. And, and by the way, this would be a brand new one. So that's how long ago this was. Mm. And I thought that's that's a car that that's a car worth noting. So something clicked to me again about wanting to be a car designer. Um, I just love drawing things and, and emulating what I saw in front of me. So I, I I decided at a very young age that I wanted to design cars or have something to do with them. Uh, my father's standard. I, I used to look at the the wing, the fenders you guys call them, with the wings in the front. And then I was just became so aware of the shape of them. They weren't just straight lines, they were curves. And uh, the shape of them was something that uh, really, really got to me. And of course, car design is all about sculpture, really. It's all about understanding form and proportion and all that good stuff. So that, that, was, that, was in, that, that sort of started to build inside me, you know, from a very young age, this sense of something that is very three-dimensional. And you end up working for Ford first. I, I did. I was very fortunate. I was sponsored at the Royal College of Art. I went to Ford and, and Essex in England, and uh, I was there for 10, 11 years. Uh, and during that time, I was able to travel and work abroad in Japan, Italy, and the uh, US, um, and Australia. And so I, they were very good to me at Ford. And the interesting thing about Ford is that you would really learn, the not the art, but the the technicalities of designing a car, especially to a cost, as you can imagine. And, you know, you really learn the sort of the, 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 the real ins and outs, the nitty gritty of designing a car. And by that, what I mean is you create something and you have to see it through to reality. It's all very well just drawing something and, and, and dream up an idea, but bring it to reality, especially in a company like Ford, is, is, is quite a demanding task and you learn a lot. So it's a great place for an apprenticeship. And if you look at a lot of many, many designers around the world who've gone on to, to run other design teams and other car corporations, they've often started at Ford. 